Parking spaces in the South Bronx decrease every day, causing others to double or triple park their vehicles. It's like uh, the wild, wild west right now in New York with the parking. A lot of abandoned cars everywhere. Worse traffic and blocked by lines, citizens agree that the authorities are not doing their job correctly. I don't know what's going on with the city, you know, they're not doing anything, they're not enforcing the law over here, there's a lot of cars, paper plates, they're not doing anything. The addition of bike lanes in New York City only sparked a new battle for space, pitting cyclists against drivers for lanes. The bike lane is everywhere, taking lanes that's supposed to be for cars, so there's a lot of traffic jam. Wherever you go, there's a lot of traffic jams. Many drivers feel that the bicycle list ignore the lanes, adding to the frustration. They save life and, and give you know the space for them, but I think they don't respect. They send useless, and they take space from you know for the drivers when we are driving in the, in the streets. As if the parking chaos and bike lanes better weren't enough, auto shops in the South Bronx have also invaded sidewalk space, squeezing pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers for road space. People buy cars, rent cars, and they abandon the cars on the street. Looking for parking in this area, they are so terrible because you need to spend most of this time, like 40, 50 minutes in this area around. So it's so hard. Residents of the South Bronx hope this city will fix the parking and traffic problems like they did in Manhattan. Here people come from someplace else, they take the parking, and sometimes the car is parked to, for a whole week, a month, and you know, we have no help around here. In Manhattan, they always keep walking all the time and checking the parkings and, and all these things, you know? But over here, no. For City College News, Raisi Santana.